called hashtag love local. Okay. So if you had a local product that you had to promote, what would it be and why? It would definitely be Rafia from Tubigan Loom Weavers. I'm not wearing it at the moment. I will be wearing it for one of the segments. For one of the segments. <clears throat> definitely, yes. Oh, um, I'm not going to indulge any more information about that. But Rafia is really a product that's from my hometown in Tubigun. And it really takes so many people to make uh, a, raffia, a raffia roll. And there's so much thought and effort that goes into it. And it's a beautiful product with so many possibilities. What is, that, what is one thing that you think young people should focus on? At the moment, it's really staying strong and continuing their, their dreams of educating themselves, even during these pandemic times. We all are having a hard time, but that doesn't mean that our dreams, our passions are canceled. They're just on hold, and I think that they all need to have hope in their hearts to continue what they're dreaming on and to somehow make their dreams still come true. Thank you. Thank you, too. Thank you. It's Igorot inspired. Yes. Skills that we need to um, develop for the workplace of the future, as we call it. Ooh, I have worked from home also during during the first few months of the pandemic. I'm sorry, it's a bit cold. During the first few months of the pandemic, and I think patience is one thing that we all need to work on on ourselves, especially with the internet connection that we have at home. There are so many times that I've had meetings, and then my internet connection would fade out, and then I wouldn't hear the rest of it. I think patience above everything else is something that we need to work on. And from then on, we at least have the clear mind to work on everything else. <laughs> There's a campaign called Hashtag Love Local. Okay. So if you had a local product that you had to promote, what would it be? It would definitely be Rafia from Tubigun Loom Weavers. I'm not wearing it at the moment. I will be wearing it for one of the segments. For one of the segments. So I would also look forward to seeing it. Definitely, yes. Um, I'm not going to indulge any more information about that, but Rafia is really a product that's from my hometown in Tubigun. And it really takes so many people to make uh, a, raffia, a raffia roll. And there's so much thought and effort that goes into it. And it's a beautiful product with so many possibilities. What is, the, what is one thing that you think young people should focus on? At the moment, it's really staying strong and continuing their, their dreams of educating themselves, even during these pandemic times. We all are having a hard time, but that doesn't mean that our dreams, our passions are canceled. They're just on hold, and I think that they all need to have hope in their hearts to continue what they're dreaming on and to somehow make their dreams still come true. Thank you. Oh, Thank you too. Thank you. It's Igorot inspired. Yes. Thank you. Not very warm. <laughs> Not very warm indeed. Uh, I'll take that into consideration next time. <laughs> I think I did pretty well. I just wish someone told me it wasn't a closed door interview. It was an outdoor interview. So cold. That was my only. That was my only concern. But for the rest, I I loved talking. If I were in Miss Universe Philippines, I will help my community by extending myself through the use of social media. And I want to use my platform to really use my voice to extend myself and to help my community by raising awareness. And I really want to show the people that I'm here, genuine, with or without the crown, that I really want to help and instill positivity and hope with everyone. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenal woman? I think the color that symbolizes a phenomenal woman is a color that you feel confident in. I think that it could be any color as long as you feel proud to wear it. And if you feel beautiful in it, then I think bagay na bagay sa'yo di pak na pak. I think the color that symbolizes the phenomenal woman is blue. And to tell you the truth, blue is my favorite color. And I think it symbolizes me too. The reason for that is because a phenomenal woman is brave but also soft. And I think blue embodies that. Achieve it, that's why I believe in you. Yes, I do. Here's your recording card. Oh, I get my So, 
Pero you're not from Cagayanto. Yung lolo mo na yun. Lolo mo? Uh, my mother is from uh, Gonzaga, Cagayan po. Pero may alam ka na uh, local na lang. Look, world. Yung alam ko pong uh, Ilocano words is yung every time pinapagalitan ako ng nanay ko yung Ilocano. <laughs> so I need one beautiful word in your local language and what does it mean? Agyamanak Apo. <laughs> Salamat, Diyos. <laughs> beautiful. One learning experience. Um, I really value education. I am an overachiever ever since I was a little kid. So I really try to do my best in terms of my studies. The, that's why I was able to graduate with Latin honors because um, I value the gift of education given to me by my parents because I believe that this will pave the way for me to get more opportunities in life, to, to reach my dream. So this, um, through education, I was able to learn a lot of things and, Hi. yeah. So what about in this pandemic? 